I feel like Little Uzi Vert fans don't really appreciate him, including myself sometimes. You know, Little Uzi Vert just dropped the pink tape, which sold 165k first week. We're all super excited for it, including myself. And I think people just forget how good Little Uzi Vert is, in my opinion. Little Uzi Vert could retire right now and still be considered my favorite rapper of all time and a straight up legend. Like he's got Love Is Rage 2 is a classic, he's got Eternal I Take, he's got The Pink Tape, Love Is Rage 2, Love Is Rage, I already said Love Is Rage 2, um, The Perfect Love Tape, Little Uzi Vert vs. World, Little Uzi Vert vs. World 2, Pluto and Baby Pluto, and he just blessed us with just so many fire classic songs, fire projects. His personality just all over the place, his charisma, and people just don't really appreciate him. One thing I do really, really want to mention what's super important what people don't really appreciate Little Uzi Vert for is 100% the, some of the snippets. 100% some of the snippets that he actually officially dropped. Like a lot of artists don't do that, and I appreciate Little Uzi Vert actually doing that. And him just even making like fire enough song for the snippets just like end up living to the hype like say for example off of little uzi vert vs world 2 you guys remember the snippet from iron i think it was like maybe i think it was like a year like just over a year and a half after no i think like a year after level straight 2 he previewed the snippet to myron on his instagram and I remember bumping that snippet for a good year. I remember bumping in the shower. Like, oh man, such a good, good snippet. And it was a high quality snippet too. Also, Lotus, when he was chilling with Young Thug, he had the braces on, he was in the whip. He took over Young Thug's Instagram and previewed Lotus. And he ended up dropping him on Love is Rich, or Little Is Reverse the World 2. And then Kobe, Roly, like that was a very highly anticipated snippet. I was a little bit, um, annoyed that he didn't drop it right away but he ended up dropping on Love's Rage 2 or a little Uzi River Sorrel 2 my bad and then the song I can show you I just wanted to mention this is one of my favorite Uzi songs of all time and it was on Little Uzi River Sorrel 2 super underrated track and it's just like it's just like a perfect little Uzi River song you know what I mean Moon Relate I actually dropped on Love's Rage 2 this used to be a really, really highly anticipated snippet after Love is Rage 2, and I'm super glad I dropped on Little Uzi Vert vs. World 2. Um, I didn't necessarily like the mixing when it, when it came out, but then again, I'm just glad it actually dropped. And it was a very psychedelic, very interesting sounding Uzi song, and the snippet got me super excited for it so i'm glad it like officially dropped come this way was also a snippet that i'm glad also dropped super good little uzi vert song definitely lived up to the hype and then trap this way was also a humongous snippet right after the love is rage 2 era the whole eternal take era and officially dropped in little uzi vert vs world 2 the sped up version was originally previewed but i'm so glad it came out you know what I mean? It was slowed down more the original version because it wasn't actually ever sped up. But Uzi Vert just sped it up for Instagram. But it definitely lived up to the hype, but it's one of my favorite Uzi songs ever. And then he blessed us with a red and white tape with Space Cadet, which was a highly anticipated snippet off of him just performing at a concert. He dropped I Know. He dropped Flex Up, which was um, I think called Wheelchair originally from a, from a snippet or whatever. He dropped Believe Me, which was a very, very highly anticipated snippet. And he actually dropped it, so I was super stoked on that. He dropped For Fun, which is a highly anticipated snippet. And he dropped Final Fantasy, which I was appreciative of. And then for the Pink Tape, he dropped some also highly anticipated snippets. Flooded the Face. I'm so glad he dropped that because that one absolutely lived up to the hype. He dropped Rage Music. I wasn't a fan of Rage Music or the snippet, but he still blessed his fans. He blessed his fans with Ridiculous. I remember he previewed that, um, I think, late 2020, early 2021, when he officially announced a pick tape, and then Forever Young, and even hinted at Love is Rage 3. Um, he dropped uh, Pluto to Mars, he dropped Alone. He just dropped so many gems from our live, you know what I mean? He dropped Of, of Course, and you know, Of Course was a highly anticipated snippet in the uh, Eternal Take era, sure he took so long to drop it, but finally it's on streaming platforms, and the same with Zoom. And then also late, um, late 2022, no, middle of 2022, around the summertime, he previewed a song called Patience, and 
just got a lot of people floating. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but he ended up dropping it, so I appreciate Little Uzi for that. And I think Little Uzi Vert fans should definitely start appreciating Little Uzi Vert because he's one of the artists that actually comes through. Sure, it may take like a few centuries or decades, but at least it's officially dropped. And it just shows that he's a very incredible artist. And don't get me started with how many fire leaks Little Uzi Bird has, because that's like another story. Little Uzi Bird's most recent leaks that he's been dropping, or I guess leaking, have just been putting him in a place where I'm like, man, some of these different eras, 2016, 2017, 2018 era, it's like, man, Little Uzi Bird's better than everybody. I mean, everybody. Um, you know what I mean? Pink Day was super fire, trying out some new sounds, but it just makes you really think and calculate, man. Uzi could have went so many different directions with his career, and that just shows how good he is. You know what I mean? Yeah, let me know what you guys think. You guys should just start appreciating a little Uzi for